Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a very exciting episode for you. This is another part piece, uh, whatever you want to call it, to our friend Thomas's box. Yeah. That sent us goodies from the UK. So that was an amazing, huge, huge box, box of yeah. stuff. <laughs> and we figured, sorry, when we um, broke it all up, we had this kind of thing which we're going to call snack cakey biscuit baked, baked kind of thing yeah um we have a sweets and chocolates video that will be coming out um and then there was some other things there was um sticky toffee pudding yeah. and another pudding that we wanted to try and maybe is that all are those all the parts and pieces i think so yeah there know. were different puddings and then the angel delight oh yeah, yeah 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 so you'll be seeing all of that coming soon if you missed the first part that is up and we have a whole british playlist that we'll link at the end of this video so i guess before we go any further this is a great place to insert if you're new hello and welcome to our channel this is what we do we try food from our wonderful viewers that spoil us rotten we like to go try new foods we will be adding many more restaurant reviews grilling gardening yeah all that kind of stuff. We love to play games, as you can see. Some travel. So if you're into any of that, please go ahead and subscribe right now. And make sure you hit the little bell. Ding. So that you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every day. We just never know what how many. Time. Yeah. Yeah. What time? How many? We never know any of that. We're not that organized. But if the bell is on, you'll get notified. Right. All right. So should we tell them what we're having today? These are some exciting things, I think. Mr. Kipling's pies. I love Mr. Kipling. I love pie. Yeah. So putting those two together, they're going to be amazing. I'm sure. I don't love yeah. pie, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I you know, like it pie. Depends. I like pie. But if it's my birthday and I'm picking a treat, it's never pie. Yeah. But seldom. Who's I a birthday pie? I love a, a good like cream pie. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I feel about that. I'm, I'm more of a cake girl or an ice cream girl, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, these I'm very excited about. Oh yeah. Tunnix snowballs. That's exciting. We got lots of Tunnix things here. We've got caramel logs, wafer cream, and caramel wafer biscuits. We have dark chocolate tea cakes. That's also Tunnix. Um, I love boxes. Those words. Oh, I love boxes. Yeah, and these are jam and cream. Jam and cream. I think Jammy tried, Dodgers. Yeah, I think we've tried that one before, and I can't wait because it was delicious. And when, I can't remember whose box that was, forgive us. They're all getting a little muddy, but whose ever box that was that sent these before, they were gone. First thing gone out of the box, yep. I think, were yep. those. Absolutely. And then did you talk about this? Nope. Double chocolate crunch cream from Foxes as well. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how I love Foxes. And chocolate and crunch and yeah. yeah all that's those gonna words. be good. That's gonna be good. Alright, also in that box. Custard. Yeah. Ambrosia. Devon custard. Alright, so we have that. What would you like to try first? Why don't we go with the biscuits? Okay. So, is a tea cake technically a biscuit or a baked thing? I don't know. These are, though. Yeah. Do you want to try? Fruit yeah. first, I Fruit think. first? Okay. I mean, why not? I'm going to, sorry for spoiling this for you, but I mean, this makes me so, it's like seeing an <laughs> old friend. Sorry for ruining. I mean, these are going to be good, right? Heck yeah. So oh, I love these things. I do too. Cheers. Cheers. They smell so stinking buttery and... Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, if you, ha I was going to try to break it open, but I think that's a bad idea. If you've never tried one before, there's a layer of cream and a layer of jam and then like a buttery biscuit. Oh. Uh, yep. 
Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this makes me so happy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like the jam. And we can get some cookies that have jam in them. But those biscuits are perfect. Yeah. And I love the cream. Me too. Yum. Foxes, they know their stuff, right? They sure do. At least I think so. Mm. Let's see if I can get this open. There's probably, aha, tear here. Look at this. Mm-hmm. There's a plate. <laughs> if you don't hurry up, I'm just gonna go back to that one. Yeah, Thank go ahead. Yeah. Oh, it kind of smells. Um, it smells rich, almost like a Ooh. coffee. Or I mean, you can tell that it's. Get off of me! Ooh. That it's rich, is what I'm trying to say. Cheers. Cheers. Chocolate, chocolate. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Double chocolate, so chocolate in the middle and chocolate biscuits. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I like Oreos, all right? But they are not this. <laughs> there is something about a lot of things that we get. Not everything. I'm not going to, you know, bash our country or our products. But there's just like a, I don't know, sometimes a bitterness, you know, that we get in our cookies and stuff that is not present. And we know why. We know about the the chemicals and the additives and all of that. You can really taste it. Oh yeah, you definitely can. Mm-hmm. Like those uh, jam and cream ones. Those, like like you said, were so buttery. Mm-hmm. They were, yeah, they were really good. For a manufactured cookie, this is very, a biscuit, this is very good. I want to know. I don't know if I asked this before. Do people make these homemade? Because it makes me want to. These are perfect. I mean, I'm not knocking foxes. But I wonder if people do make these. They have to, right? I would think so. And my gosh, can you imagine what that would be like? I don't know if you can get much better. <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, think about it. Think about somebody that grows their own oh, berries yeah. and, right. you know, macerates the berries and and makes their own, oh yeah. I mean, that would be a labor of love, but still, I, I so wanna know. Good. Still, let us know. Let us know. Okay. All right, what do we wanna do next? I know that these are biscuits as well, but they all are under this Tunnix wafer family. So. This is Tunnix too. Yeah, you wanna try the tea cakes? Sure. I don't know exactly what a tea cake is. This is dark chocolate. Oh, this is gonna be our first one. Also coming soon, we're gonna be trying some tea, and uh, we're we have some things saved back from some of these boxes that we're gonna try with. Yeah. I thought we would share. And we oh. are. Okay, good. Where it all began. Oh, Tom it, Tunnick, the founder, outside his baker's shop. It feels like and looks like. Oh wow. Um, what are those things called? With the marshmallow? I don't know. Moon what pies, called. kind of. Because uh, it, it looks like a cookie or a biscuit on the bottom. It looks yeah. like marshmallow and then coated in chocolate. I don't know for sure if that's what we have here, but that's what it looks like. We shall Should see. Should I just take a bite? Um, yeah. Or do you want to cut it? No, go ahead. Take a bite. That is similar to a moon pie, but way better. <laughs> I mean, it's the same idea. It's mm -hmm. the same marshmallow on top of like a biscuit and coated. Yeah, and we have things like this too that aren't moon pie that have like the cookie on the bottom and then chocolate covered marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's good. I'm curious because mm -hmm. moon pies that I speak of 
come in vanilla, banana, a couple of different ones. So I'm wondering if they make different flavors or if they're only chocolate. Mm. I mean, and I don't think we have dark chocolate like that. No, that's really I think good. it's milk chocolate. I yeah. love the dark chocolate with the oh, me too. marshmallow. I prefer dark chocolate for sure. I don't on like everything. it. I don't like it better on everything, but on that for sure. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, it makes me want to drink milk. Yeah, or, or tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Drink something. All right. right. Um, want to do your snowballs? Yes. I love these guys. Look at their happy little faces. It even says put on a happy face, see? It does. Alright. There's a tad to pull. We've had snowballs before. We have? I think. Well, we've had something coconutty. Dang. I don't think they were actual snowballs. I think they were little coconut something. Now I don't remember what they were, but I remember loving them. Where was it? In a oh, in British a video. box. Oh, yeah. okay. So I don't know if we've had these before or not. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. I mean. Come on. I'm going to need a hazmat shower after this. Yeah, I could probably just take it. No, I'm committed. Yeah, Ready, go. I love those. Those are good. Mm, that coconut is so good with it. Mm-hmm. I Let me try it am not the biggest marshmallow fan as far as like, you know, there's salads and desserts we put marshmallows on top, but I love marshmallow flavor, but I don't always love that same texture, but I love, this is more like marshmallow fluff, you know, mm -hmm. it's not just, I've never been that person to just eat, I don't know, marshmallows, marshmallows. or like, you don't like marshmallows in cereal, I do though, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm saying I appreciate the marshmallow fluff and, fluff and the like stickiness of it instead of just a marshmallow. Yeah. Well, it's because the marshmallows in cereal aren't really marshmallows to me. They're like hard, crunchy bits. Chemicals. <laughs> don't taste good and they don't have a good texture, but these are really good. It's delicious. I wonder if dogs like coconut and if there's a dog we can borrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new subscriber. Mm -hmm. All right, snowballs are down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the bad thing. We have to rank all these things. <laughs> and that's gonna be tough. Oh, it sure will. So far, who's in the lead for you? The jam and cream boxes. Me too. But <laughs> here's the thing. Those four things that we just tried represent like four favorites for me like oh um yeah. well the tea cakes that yeah. was the the last three tea cakes the snowballs and those uh jam and cream cookies i liked the chocolate ones don't get me wrong but those are all very unique and yeah amazing oh, yeah. that's gonna be hard that's gonna be difficult these are the tonics caramel wafers those we've tried those, the, yeah. But we're gonna save one maybe and do an individual video, but since there's multi-pack, we wanna try <laughs> them again. Hey, I want some. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I love the layers of caramel in there. Mm -hmm. So good. That has really good flavor. <clears throat> oh yeah. But we haven't had any of the other Tonix wafer biscuits. Mm -mm. We've just had that one. So it'll be interesting now to compare with these. This one is milk chocolate wafer cream biscuit with a delicious chocolate flavor cream filling. Okay, so this one's got chocolate in the inside. Instead of the and caramel. Not the caramel, yeah. Mm. 
And then that caramel log we'll try next, and that has it's caramel with like coconut on the outside, like. Oh yes, she does that to me. Snow bubbles. So these are also littler, huh? Yeah. If I can get this open. How are we ever gonna go to the UK and visit? <laughs> how? For real? We're, how are we gonna? We're gonna want to buy mm. everything. <laughs> Take the clothes on her back and a couple of empty suitcases. <laughs> yeah. These are so light, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. I like that. Definitely crunchier. Mm-hmm. I like the difference between that and the the caramel wafer. Because it's got that crunch and it's like airy. And that one is, and that one's more like there's a chew. Sol yeah, solid and then there's a chew, yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Now. So we should tell people, um, you know, we understand that a lot of people from the UK watch these videos when we do them, but also we have a lot of American subscribers. So these are just like, I shouldn't say just, these are a wafer, like a big thick wafer, kind of like a nutty buddy type situation. Um, this one with caramel and it's chewier and then this one's just light and airy and chocolate yep yum this one's tonics caramel log and it's got coconut on the outside coconut 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 Ooh. there you go thank you boy everything's Smith. making a mess here on our table today it's like yeah <laughs> we need a dust buster Hmm. That's different. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a wafer like that with the coating. Mm. Yeah, the coating's real good. Mm hmm. I like it, and it's a little bit different. We've got like, mm, like peanut logs here, but. Oh, I love those. This is maybe a little substitute for you, since you can't have the peanuts. Mm. <laughs> Not the same. I don't know. I still want <laughs> still want to eat some peanuts. I'm allergic, by the way, if you're new. Um, and I know that almonds and walnuts and peanuts are not all the same thing. I'm allergic to both. Mm -hmm. um, not super, super allergic, but allergic enough that we need to be careful, and I'm not going to sit here and eat them. But... We did have right. something sneak through in our in a video, so yeah. we're trying to be a little bit careful, but um, I had no reaction. Just a little oh, tickle, good. just a little bit of a tickle, but anyway, thank you for all your care and concern <clears throat> about that. All right, what do we have left? The pie? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Wow, that went quick. Yeah. All right. I hear some rattling around in here. Why so. don't we let them go and we'll get it set up. All right, let's set it up. All right, so we're back. Had to do a little damage control around here. In other words, shuffling of stuff and yeah, crumbs and whatnot. So now we're back to my good old friend, Mr. Kipling. Well, first the custard. Who is yeah. this? Uh, Ambrosia. Okay, so I kind of want to, I, I mean, I think this is meant, you guys tell me and you know, I can't remember in the comments. I think it's, I think they kind of put it on Everything, you know, like yeah. they said to put it on sticky toffee pudding. They said to heat it up, which we did. Um, and they definitely said to try the pies with it. I'm going to try with and without. Yeah. Um, but I want to try the custard By itself. here. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I don't know if I, do I take a whole big, I mean, is it like our pudding? I don't know. I mean, do I take taste. a whole big, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just I, get a little taste. It is, I, I was trying to not, uh, you know, at Poison. first I, yeah, at first I was going to have a reaction then I'm like, I'm going to let you have your own reaction. I just had a food memory. You did? Yeah. All so right. typically here, I know pudding does not mean that, I learned from my friend Monkey, hi Monkey if you're watching, that um, pudding definitely means something different here than it 
does there. Yeah. And uh, pudding to us means this sort of thing. Butterscotch, banana, banana chocolate, yeah, chocolate, whatever. This sort of thing. And I had a memory, and we would never eat it warm. Pudding is no, always cold. room temperature or cold. like from the little cups or cold. Yeah. And I just had a memory of my mom always made butterscotch pudding. That was one of her favorite things. Mm. And she always made it for me and like made it from scratch. And uh, she would call me to the kitchen to have some while, like have a spoonful while it was warm. And also because I was a picky eater, like I always tell you. Uh, before the raisins got in there and uh. messed it all up and I didn't have to eat them <laughs> around them But I none of my friends had ever had warm pudding like that before and I I mean I forgot about it until trying that Wow! How much I you know really enjoy that. It's nice Look warm. Yeah. Yeah So thank you Thomas for that memory. All right Oops. Apple pie's gotta be first, right? right That's what we're apple. used to that's you know what we know and we love Yeah I am going to just take a bite of this, my half, and then I'll get some custard on the second half. Oh my gosh, that smells very apple-y. Sometimes, sometimes you just smell the crust. You yeah. can smell the apple. I'm down for it. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. Me too. But you know what? I'm not surprised. Mm -mm. Whoa. I'm like really impressed with the crust of this. Me too. You know, it is flaky. Here's, I don't want to, here, let's not do that. No, yeah. I was going to do that and then that kind of icks me out a little bit. Let's do it oh, like I that. I was just going to put a little on my. Well, too late for that now. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little thing. Okay. They're a little bit warm. be truthful with you like we always are you guys always say to tell you the truth I like this pie very 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 much I don't even like pie that's the truth the other truth is we're used to ice cream mm -hmm. on apple pie and I like that better than custard on it I like the custard and I like the pie but I I, I prefer ice cream on my apple pie still sorry yeah I I think I do too, but the custard is really good. I've mm -hmm. never had that before mm -hmm. with a, a pie, but I like the temperature difference with the ice cream. And, yeah, yeah, me too. And it kind of melts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. The, the custard is good though. I can't wait to try it on the sticky toffee pudding. Me either. And I can't wait to try it on the other flavors. Yeah. Because we haven't had the other. Well, the one that's cherry, right? I think this never, is cherry. That... Never have I ever had a cherry pie. You haven't? Never in my life. Mm. What were you gonna say, Cherry? And sorry. Uh, that one's uh, apple and black currant. Hmm. Yeah, I've never had a cherry pie. You're gonna uh. see my first time trying one. Told you I was a picky eater. Told you I'm not that much of a pie person. If I ever can choose pie, it's always banana cream and yeah. that or apple. I love apple. So why? get something else you know mm, what I mean true. so I'm anxious to try it and I'm anxious to try it with a custard maybe it's just because I'm so familiar with the apple that I don't really love it with the custard this is plain yeah. cherry though right yep okay mmm mmm whoa So many times I have said, oh my gosh, um, how stupid we've been <laughs> our whole lives, meaning myself. What was it that we real, oh, we never knew that we liked chocolate covered cherries until we yeah. pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone to try them for YouTube. I probably would have went my whole dang life without having cherry pie unless Thomas sent it to us. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because I would have always picked something else. Well, okay. the filling in this is just delicious. And you know what I love? It I don't know that it is, but I love sour cherry stuff. And there's mm. a little bit of like a sour, I know sour cherry is like a thing. There's almost like a little tang, a little, yeah. oh, oh yeah. yum. That was good. Oh. 
I mm. like that one better than the apple. And the I like pie it. better, or you like it with the custard better? Which are you saying? Both. Both. Um, I don't know if I like the pie better. It's pretty close though. Um, I don't know. I, I have to think about it. But I definitely like the custard on the cherry pie better than on the apple. And that's probably just because what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. You know, no offense. No offense ever. But um, also a lot of people said that they use whipped cream oh, yeah. on um, desserts. Do people get, like, if we're having apple pie at a restaurant, I'm trying to think. It's always ice cream. Is Usually. it ever whipped cream? Mm. Cherry pie would be ice cream. Yeah. Almost always. Unless it's like a cream pie. Yeah, I like the idea of trying cream whipped cream on some too. All right, ready? Oh yeah, black currant, huh? Okay. Cheers. Black currant and something apple. apple. Okay, ready? You go. Which obviously, well, I shouldn't say obviously. Um, I've never had this kind of pie either. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's good too. I love the little bites of apple. Is it there. completely sacrilege? I mean, you'll <laughs> say no, and then somebody in the comments will say something <laughs> else. Sorry if it is. Black currant does kind of give me grape vibes at times. Yeah. Um, it almost yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like grape, don't get me wrong, but the closest thing, like, if we're telling Americans what this tastes like, the closest fruit flavor, I would say, is, like, grape. Yeah. I, but not really. Yeah. Not, I mean, not really. <clears throat> I don't know what to say it tastes like. Me neither. I wonder if it tastes more like... I've never had other pies before, so I don't know. wonder... Like if black raspberry would be closer than mm, grape. You know maybe. what I mean? All right, now with custard? Yeah. Hmm. I like that with the custard. Um, I do too. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Here's what. I loved it plain. I loved it by itself. And I don't know if it's commonly eaten that way or if it's usually more of a topping, but yum. And I really liked it on the last pie. Actually, both of them. Actually, I really like the cherry pie by itself, kind of. I, I think the cherry pie was my favorite and I loved it with the custard. I think I like the cherry pie by itself, but also because I was just trying cherry pie for the first time, I didn't want anything else to interfere with the flavor. Like, I felt like I really just wanted to taste the cherry. Um, we gotta go out for some cherry pie. Here's the other <laughs> thing that I'll tell you that I don't normally like is the ratio on that is perfect for me because I don't like those pies that are like, I know that's a thing to stack your layers, you know, and have those fruit pies that are super thick. That's too much filling for me. Yeah. I like the ratio you need, yeah, of these. You need, yeah, you need the crust in there. It's so, the crust is so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you need a balance. Ah, uh, sure. yeah. All well, right. Now we got a mess over here. That's crumbs exploded. We've got coconut bits and. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot going on. All right, my favorite custard was that one. Yeah, that's my favorite custard as well. Um, should we rank? Okay, so let's talk about the pies. Okay. My favorite, I can't believe, my favorite was cherry. Mine too. And then apple, and then the apple black currant. I, and there's three left, so I will be eating more of them. That makes me, you know, thank you, Thomas. And thank you to all of you because it's because of you that we eat things that we normally wouldn't have. Yeah. If we would have ever went to a restaurant, I would have never ordered. I would have went with Old Faithful, banana cream, chocolate cream, whatever. I would have never ordered a fruit pie and I would have been missing out. Yeah. Um, those are all amazing. Those were wonderful. 
Who knew I like cherry pie? Who knew? All right, now you want to bring in some of the other stuff? All right, this is my favorite about? snowball that we've had today. No. All right, <laughs> should we do, do you want to do the wafery things together? Yeah. So. This is a wafer. Yeah, that's the caramel. This is the caramel log. And then this is the wafer, milk chocolate wafer cream. What is your favorite? Or how would you rank these three? You know what's so difficult is I loved how light and airy the chocolate one was. Mm -hmm. I loved the coconut because I love coconut, but also that extra texture mm -hmm. on the coconut one. And the caramel, I almost always prefer to chocolate. So there's a reason why I could pick Bachelorette, you know, one, two, or three. I like them all. Right. But a dollar at a vending machine, we always like to say, you can only buy one. I think I'm going caramel. So the, like, that one. Yeah, the... I think I would do this, <clears throat> then I would do the caramel log because it's completely different than anything that we can get here, which always gets high rankings from this judge. And then the chocolate, only because we have nothing that is just like that here, but we can get chocolate wafery things. So, um, inadvertently, this got put in my order, so. The milk chocolate wafer cream is my favorite. The you caramel log is my, I got something on my. Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, chocolate. Hey, you know, the hazards <laughs> of the job, right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay. Uh, wafer cream, caramel log, and caramel. I love when this happens, because you know what that means. <laughs> we don't have to fight over it? Well, there's plenty to share. Yeah, All right. there, there is. Thomas made sure that we have plenty to share. Spoiled we are. Okay. Mm, of spoiled we are. Let's cookies, biscuits. Um, I much prefer. I mean, I like to these. Don't get me wrong. But these are like um, one of those treats that <sighs> this is so stereotypical. Just indulge me for a second. <laughs> you, know, you know, there's that like stereotype of um, mom and dad hiding the good stuff away from the kids mm -hmm. or whatever. This is the good stuff. Yeah. Like much too good for children kind of thing, in my opinion. If children are watching, of course, you know, eat your jammy dodgers too. But I mean, <laughs> if you're in my house, you might not find any there. I mean, those are amazing. I love them, love them. Those first, then these. Me plus, too. Plus, uh, I much prefer vanilla, buttery, shortbready kind of stuff to chocolate. Yeah, that I I would say that my tastes have definitely changed from when I was a child because I would have been you know that would have been number one all day and I probably would not have even Me neither. touched that. I remember and... my grandma loved fruit uh, cookies like the Archway cookies or whatever oh, those yeah. are that oh, have yeah. fruit in the middle not the cream but they have fruit in the middle mm -hmm. she always had them at her house and she would always offer me one and I would eat around the fruit <laughs> yeah I did too <laughs> yeah um okay so yeah that's that's my order there all right and then which did you prefer of these I like the snowballs I did too, but that being said, I really loved these. Yeah, those and you were know really what? Good. After I saw what these were, I didn't think I would like them as much because they're. S it is the same premise as the same ingredient components. That's what I want to say. Is our what did I say? Moon pies. Moon pies, um, and I don't like them. They're just. I mean, they're processed and they're. Yeah, I'm I just not a don't fan love either. them. Um, those are amazing, but. Give me all of that same thing, almost, and and put coconut on it, you know. Yeah. More is more. More is more. So snowballs for me, too. All right. Yeah. Favorite thing in the box now. Oh, boy. I got to remember all that stuff. Dollar at a vending machine. You can only pick one treat. Oh, boy. Well... I don't know. I mean, we understand these aren't a dollar at a vending machine, but... We'll have to pause this and watch the other videos to be sure what we got. What do you mean? To remember for the entire box. I don't mean that. I mean in this entire video. Of what oh, we tried today. Here? Sorry. Yeah, of this stuff. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to say Mr. Kipling's pie. I love that cherry pie. That was... I did, too. I mean... 
It's between that and the Fox's Chia Man Cream. Oh, yeah. Biscuits. I mean, I, that's really good as well. So. I'm going to say these were my favorite thing in the box. Second is Mr. Kipling. Yeah. And when you talk about least favorite, I mean, wow, is that tough. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if I can pick a least yeah, favorite. Yeah, really isn't one for yeah, me. Yeah, I liked, for me, it's probably this. Um, and I don't dislike it. It's just I really love a lot of the other yeah, things. Yeah, 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 I agree. So, I mean, this was amazing. Again, thank you, Thomas Fruzy, yeah. so very much. What a wonderful box. Yeah, you guys spoil us. And then we, we still have multiple boxes to open. We have snack crates that are stacked up because yeah. we put those to the back to get to viewer stuff first. Yeah, we have a this with them box. Uh, yeah, yeah, so lots more stuff coming. Um, we appreciate all of your love and support, so keep watching, keep liking the, those videos. It really helps our channel when you do that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, if you're not following us on social media, please come do so. The links are in our channel banner, at least when you're on a desktop they are. Yeah. The links are in the, the place where pictures are. And we're most active, I would say, on our Instagram. We also have a TikTok. Sure. If you're interested in that, it's not linked because, you know what? I tried to link it, and I don't think there's a desktop version of TikTok, so uh, I don't know if you can link it. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I mean, maybe, maybe I can through YouTube Mobile. Anyway, the point being, uh, if you're interested in seeing our TikTok, come find us over there. Um, we talked about subscribing, so now mm -hmm. I guess I should say, if you love Thomas's choices, which we, we do, do <laughs> or snacks from the UK, which we do, oh absolutely, or Mr. Kipling, which we do, or Foxes, which we do, or Tonics, which we do, or what's this company again? Sorry, uh, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. If you love custard or any of these wonderful things, or us. Or the, I almost left that out. Or us to the video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Really helps us out when you do that. That's all we have for today. See you next time. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.